everybody, it's Jerry here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video in regards to a game fact source that talks about leaks that apparently are coming true. So I'm just going to cut straight to the point here, and as you all can probably tell, this video isn't scripted, but I'll try to keep everything as concise as possible. So the first thing that came true on May 7th was Nintendo revealing details in regards to their online services. Mind you, this source was posted on May 1st, and the first bullet that's there says that Nintendo will be releasing details in regards to their online service on May 7th. As I'm recording this, it's May 7th, 2018, and I'm just going to skip ahead. Um, there's going to be two trailers for Smash Brothers on the Switch. Now, this is in regards to Nintendo's E3 conference or whatever when it comes to Smash Brothers. There's going to be two trailers for Smash on Switch. One of them is for Captain Toad being a Smash Brothers, and the other trailer is actually for Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, but in the source it doesn't say three trailers, so when it says one will reveal Captain Toad and the others will reveal Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, that implies that since Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon have a tight relationship, have always had a good relationship since the 90s and even till now with the Insane Trilogy, because when you enter the old Spyro the Dragon Crash 3 demo, um, not Crash 3, Spyro 1 demo on the Insane Trilogy like you could in Crash 3 to play the demo of Spyro 1, if you enter that same code from back then on the Insane Trilogy, you'll be able to look at the trailer for the Reignited Trilogy that Spyro is getting this September. But, yes, Crash Bandicoot and Spyro will be revealed in one trailer, which I can honestly believe as a little, like, two shocker, if that makes any sense. You know, twice the shock value. And apparently this is why Nintendo have been quiet about the Switch version Reignited Trilogy. And the only reason why I see this making sense in one way or another is because, one, the Reignited Trilogy for Spyro was only confirmed for the PS4 and Xbox One. Or two, it's coming, but they want to get Spyro announced for Smash first and then reveal the Reignited Trilogy for the Switch. Or three, I know I said two, but this is the third option. They can't put the Spyro Reignited Trilogy on the Switch because the games are far bigger in scale in comparison to the Crash games. So in order to suffice, they will put Spyro in a Nintendo Switch game instead of having his games on the Nintendo Switch. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. I don't want this video to go on for too long. You guys tell me what you think. I want to believe it. And because Crash is on the Switch and he's been on Nintendo platforms since then, besides the 64, of course, it leads me to believe that he will make it in. But as for Spyro, I don't know. That's what's kind of making me a little eh. But, yeah. I'll see y'all later. You guys have a good one. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. Peace.